welcome everyone before we get started i'm sharing with you guys the formula of the eye gel and then the recipe um if you're new to my channel um we always work uh, with a formula then transfer it out into a recipe if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll make sure i have um the video linked down below in my description box and also it should be up in the cards up above but let's talk about what we're doing in this video orange blossom floral water balances oil and brightens the skin has great aroma properties that are calming it acts as a great calming agent in sensitive skin stimulates the production of collagen of mature skin has great antiseptic properties in acne prone skin has great mattifying and moisturizing agents and balances properties on oily and combination skin in this formula i did put the orange blossom floral water 81 percent and um i did that because i was making a small batch anyway but uh if you would like to um use this in your formulations um keep in mind that orange blossom floral water is really really expensive um so i would definitely um pair it with another hydrosol and or more water but anyway after i'm done adding that i'm just going to stir that and put it over to the side next we're going to go into our phase b vegetable glycerin is a soothing humectant and emollient that makes the skin feel softer and smoother and it also helps the skin's irritations and protect against infection and promote wound healing um as you guys will see me putting the xanthan gum and the glycerin together and that's because xanthan gum is a little bit hard to spread in a aqueous solution so putting the vegetable glycerin with the xanthan gum is better when formulating and you won't have so much issues with making sure the xanthan gum is not showing within the product xanthan gum has lubricant properties stabilize emulsions and non-gelling thickener but of course it binds in water and it's a viscosity enhancer um so once i am done adding all the xanthan gum you want to make sure you mix the xanthan gum with the glycerin so i don't know if you guys see those little chunks of the xanthan gum i want to make sure i mix the glycerin and xanthan gum really well so you won't have those chunks so then when adding this phase b into phase a we won't see a lot of the xanthan gum and it will basically blend well in the product this is what it looks like when the xanthan gum is well blended into the glycerin which is ready to be blended with phase A. In this clip, you'll see me putting a little bit of the mix of the xanthan gum and the glycerin in the water phase. You don't really have to do that, but I wanted to make sure the ingredients were blended well. It was really challenging getting the ingredients out of the small beaker so what I did was take the big beaker and put a little bit of the ingredients into the small beaker, um, stir a little bit and then pour it right back into the big beaker. I will make sure that I have the ingredients that I'm using in this video and also the equipment that I'm using in this video to be in the link. Uh, well not the link the description box below in addition i am in a affiliate program with amazon basically that is where i get commission from um, anytime you click on the link and you buy that item i do pr uh, receive a certain amount of um, money from that order it took a long time for me well it felt like a long time um, to blend this glycerin and xanthan gum into the water phase but it is doable um, it would even go faster if you're using an emulsion blender but because it's a small batch size i'm just like i can do it um, with my hands but now um before i add the preservative 
I am going to make sure I test the product's pH. So um, I am weighing out nine grams of distilled water for um, to dilute the product and then add one gram of the eye gel into that distilled water. After I weighed out the distilled water and the product, I am going to make sure I mix the water and the product very well before I start testing the product's pH. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure the pH has an accurate reading. So I did get this pH meter from Amazon. It will be linked down below. But um, this is what it looks like. Um, it's really a basic um, pH meter. It's really straight to the point. But before I check the product's pH, I make sure I put it in the distilled water and then add it to the solution that we made for the product. The product's pH was at 5.0. So there was no need to adjust the pH, but just remember the skin of the pH is 5.0 to 5.5. So I'm using Preservative Eco and Preservative Eco protects against growth of bacteria, yeast, and mold. It is also suitable for water and oil emulsions and oil and water emulsions and anhydrous products. Um, it can be used in any anhydrous product that may come in contact with water um, such as body scrubs and it's also water soluble. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos you probably don't know that we will always use preservatives when it comes to aqueous ingredients in our formulation because if we don't that can cause a lot of harm to the human body and then also we're putting bacteria yeast and mold onto ourselves and we do not want to do that and if we're selling products we definitely do not want to do that so that's why but if you don't know um about preservatives and everything i will have a video coming out pretty soon um, but let's talk about this eye gel. I love the way it feels on my skin, under my eye, and it's just so wonderful. And the scent of the product is so light, but also so pleasant. So I was testing out um, the formulas before I actually recorded. And as you see on our left, you see more of a liquid um product and then on our right you see more of a solid jelly which it is a gel um the one on our left i wanted to show because i use one percent xanthan gum and this is what it looks like when you're just using one percent xanthan gum um i had a feeling that it was going to turn out like that but i just wanted to try it and which i did and i've learned um, that's one thing about formulating is we learn a lot as you test out but I just wanted to show you guys that and just to let you know not to use 1% uh, xanthan gum in your eye gels but anyways thank you guys so much for watching also I do want to thank you guys so much for 6k supporters I really really do appreciate that you guys come to my channel you guys value my content and the support is really really um overwhelming but also so appreciated if you're a new viewer go ahead smash on that subscribe button like this video um, and also make sure you turn on your notification bells and if you have any product ideas that you would want me to make on this channel please make sure you comment down below see you guys in the next video have a great day bye